What's up everybody, David Caraccio with The Vet Group. And today is gonna to be a fun day. We're going over the gear that I use every day in real estate. All right, so we posted a video the other day about drones and how we use it in real estate. And I got a lot of requests asking us to show what other equipment we use on a day-to-day -day basis. So here's my bag and we're gonna go over what's inside of it. So I used to carry around three bags, three separate bags, one with my briefcase, with my laptop and all my equipment for work. I also carried a camera bag and a drone bag every now and then even a lunch pail. I mean, it was a lot of equipment I was carrying around in multiple bags, trying to bring them in inside of the, the car. So I went down and I bought this. One big bag that carries all my equipment. All right, we're gonna start off in the front zipper here. This is my briefcase. So I used to have a big old briefcase with tons of stuff that was not needed. So I condensed it down to exactly what I need day to day. I got my laptop, which fits perfectly in here. And then I have on the side, my business cards, and my mouse. I also have my files that I'm working on currently and a notepad to take my notes throughout the day. On the other side here, we have two different tripods. Now, this small one I love because it's very versatile. I can attach it to multiple things, whether it be a wall, a door, or even just place it on a table. It's very versatile light and I like to use it every single day. The other tripod I trade out depending on what I'm doing. This is a very light, uh, lightweight tripod. It's not a big, heavy, dirty, uh, uh, sturdy one. If I'm not using the tripod, I'm gonna be using my Steadicam to give me those nice, crisp, uh, cinematic shots throughout the house. All right, this is one of my favorite parts because this is what actually goes into all the marketing and the media that we see every single day. So as we open this up, I'm gonna take out some of the first uh, pieces of the equipment that I like the most. First off, our camera. Now this isn't a super expensive camera. It's a Nikon D3200. It's been out since 2013, but it's my go-to camera for all my photography. Typically I'm running this Sigma 10 to 20 uh, millimeter zoom lens. The reason why I like this one because it's ultra wide and allows me to get all the aspects of the room while still making it feel warm and inviting. As a backup, I still carry around the 18 to 55 millimeter zoom lens. This is a standard uh, lens that came with the camera, but it's still good for those other shots I need to take outside. One of my favorite tools with the camera is this shotgun mic made by Rode. The reason why I like it, because I don't have to lapel up and bring up all these uh, wires. It just attaches straight to the camera and allows me to get good uh, audio on top of the camera itself. Now that uncovers one of my favorite parts of this bag, and this is the drone. This is the DJI Mavic Pro. I reviewed it the other week on the reasons why I like to use it in real estate. So if you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and check out that video now. Then of course you have this uh, remote control that pairs up with your cell phone that allows you to fly this amazing piece of equipment. To the right here we have our flash. Now this isn't a very expensive flash, but it's very effective for those times where I don't have enough natural lighting coming into that room. I'm able to add my own supplemental light to be able to get that nice clean image. Now on the left side here we have our extra battery packs. I usually carry three total, so I have one on the drone fully charged and I always carry two more. You never know when you need a drone, you get about 20 minutes worth of footage. So if I'm out of shot and I'm on my way back home and I wanna pick up one more shot, having an extra battery is always good. Now I have two more pouches that I use here and they're kind of like the everything pouch. So the pouch here on the left, this is where all my charging equipment, my battery packs, and whatever else I need to help charge my equipment goes, as well as my spare blades. And the reason why you want those spare blades, because sometimes you do get in a little bit of interference while flying that drone. Now the very top here, this is kind of our dump pouch, it has everything included. So we have our uh, katana. Uh, this is one of the three pieces that you need for the katana to be able to, to navigate that drone in, indoors and this big dump pouch. Now this is kind of the all around accessories that we have. So we have extra pieces for the Katana. We have a stabilizer for our uh, glide cam. We have another piece of the Katana. I mean, really just cleaning equipment, what else I could throw in there. I like these dump pouches because I could actually keep it organized. It's unorganized here, but at least when I open my bag, it doesn't go flying everywhere. The reason why I love this bag is there's so many different compartments. Now in the front here, there's two more compartments. The first thing, and this is a very important tool, is my, uh, my hard drive. So I can use this to dump my footage from my SD cards over to this and have a secondary storage device uh, before I get to editing. Of course, we have extra memory cards for both the Mavic and our camera. We've got a spare battery for our camera, extra parts for the glide cam, a note for my wife, and extra cables as well for the rest of our equipment. So there you have it. It's a lot of equipment, 
but at least it's all in one bag and I always have it readily available no matter where I go. Like I said, I used to carry around multiple bags. I ditched those bags, I don't use them anymore. Now I have all my equipment that I need throughout the daily basis. I wanna thank you for watching this video. Once again, I'm David Karachi with the Vet Group at Covenant Partners Realty. If you have any specific questions or if you want me to go through a product review of the equipment that I use, please put those in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. And when you're ready to sell your house, please contact me at 210-771-1658.